Hi everyone, Justin here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to manually backtest your trading strategy using a platform called the Forex Simulator. Now this is a very simple platform to use. Once you understand the basics, it's all just smooth sailing from there, all right? So without further ado, let's get started. First, you're gonna to go to forexsimulator.com. You're gonna click on buy now, and then you are going to pick a plan. You're gonna pick either the lifetime plan or the monthly plan. Once you pick one, you can sign up. We also have a 14 day free trial. So if you don't wanna pick either one, you just wanna try it out before you buy, you're free to do that. So you sign up for the free trial, and then once you open up the application, this is what it's going to look like. So when you first open it up, there's gonna be quotes, it's always changing. So it gives you some nice little inspiration with your trading. So the first thing you're gonna see when you open up Forex Simulator is this view right here. You have your chart, you have your watch list, you have uh, the bottom part here showing your balance, open trade, stop loss, take profit, everything like that. And then you have the order menu, and then you have the part where you can uh, buy and sell. This is called your one-click trading window. So if you trade on MetaTrader, you know about one-click trading. This is basically what it is. Uh, you can enter your stop loss, you can enter your take profit, and the lot size, and you can sell, buy, or close directly from the one-click trading menu. So it's pretty cool. If you wanna change the color of the chart, it's very simple. You see this custom layout that I have? It's a white background. The bearish candles are red and the bullish candles are blue. Well, the way I did that was I go to settings, colors, and then you can choose default color schemes, uh, default color layouts right here, or you can edit them and you can do, ex if you like this setup that I have when it comes to the colors, you can just copy this right here, but you can fully customize your chart just like in MetaTrader. Now, when you first launch MetaTrader, you will notice that it starts back at the year 2000. And if you are using the demo or if you just paid for Forex Simulator and you just opened it up for the first time, it's going to have a default uh, data set of one month worth of tradable data. Now with this simulator, the goal here is to have as much data as possible, meaning all the way from 2000 to 2020, right? So 20 years of data you wanna have on here so you can spend as long as you want back testing during any point in time. So the way you download all of the data up until current time, it doesn't matter if you're watching this video 10 years from now, so in 2030, here's what you do. You go to data, hover over quotes, and then you choose one of these ones right here. Oops, data, quotes, and you just choose any of these. Uh, these are different data sets from different brokerages because we all know that different brokers set their own prices and th they're pretty similar with one another, but they can be different. So that's why you choose one of the brokerages. Now, if you choose historical data, this is one of the biggest ones that we have clocking in at 30 gigabytes. So if you click on download, you're going to see right here, the start date is May of 2000 and the end date so far is April 17th of 2020. So that was... Yeah, seven days ago, one, two, three, four, five, six. So exactly, yeah, exactly seven days ago, uh, this was updated. So once you click on download, it's gonna show you here how long your download is taking, when it's gonna be done, everything like that. Of course, the smaller the data set you're downloading, the one I'm currently using is on forex.com. So it's about 15 gigs. The reason why mine says 9.8 gigs is because this was before we updated the data set. And you know which one you are using because you will see that there is a blue highlighted box around a folder. So you see the blue box right there around the folder that lets you know I'm currently on the forex.com data set. Now let's get right into the trading. Let's get into the actual Forex simulator. When you open it up for the first time, it's automatically on the one minute time frame. I like to change that. So let's go to the one hour time frame. And you will see that there are two indicators already installed. Here's, a, here's the MACD and here's the Bollinger Bands. So I personally like to remove that. I don't trade with any of those. So I just right click, delete indicator, right click, delete indicator. And here is the start. If you like to be adventurous and you like to pick a random point in time in which you wanna start back testing, maybe you have no idea where to start, you don't know where to start, you're lost, well, here's what you can do. You can let the Forex simulator automatically decide for you where you wanna begin back testing. So again, as long as you downloaded the entire data set, so you have many years to play with, then go here to simulation and random date and time. So what it's actually doing right now, because it hasn't loaded the data, it's just kind of loading all of the data before it picks a random date and time. And there we go. So it automatically picked a point in time. 
In this case, it is January 4th of 2010. So from here, let me show you how you can maximize and minimize the screen. You can maximize the screen by doing this, just by moving this, and you can squeeze it by moving it up and down. So I like to have that in the middle and I like to drag this out just a little bit more so I have a complete view of the screen. Uh, we're gonna auto hide this. So we're going to press the auto hide button. And if you wanna get that back, you just click on the data set. In this case is forex.com, which is the one I have. And then you just click away and it'll automatically retract. So from here, we have this big view. Let me show you how to place your first simulator trade. So let's say for example, I'm doing my analysis I'm not doing a legit analysis right now. I'm just showing you as an example. So I want to place a buy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click new order and I'm going to choose my lot size. Let's go ahead and change that to 0 0.1, 0 0.1. That means $1 per pip. So if we catch 700 pips, we should be catching around $700. And I'm going to press buy. Now I'm going to drag this up and down. Let me go ahead and just drag it. Uh, I'd say, hmm. You know what, I think right here would be a good stop loss. And for a take profit, let's put it right there. So the stop loss is going to be about 275 pips and the take profit is going to be about 600 pips. Now let's go ahead and run the simulation. You're gonna do that by pressing the start button. This is the type of speed that you can do. And the easiest way to maneuver the speed is just leave your mouse here on the screen and then use your mouse wheel. So when you push it all the way up, you see how it changed it to times 600? Now it's moving at 600 times the speed. Okay, so let's go to the four hour time frame. It's a lot closer. And as you can see, each bar represents four hours. So you see how fast this is moving? Instead of actually trading on a demo account and trading during live market conditions, this is a lot better because not only are you trading on a demo account, but you're trading on live market conditions from back in time. So right now we're trading from 10 years ago. 10, over 10 years ago, this is what the market was doing at this exact moment, and I'm actually trading it. So if you treat this like it's your real account, it's gonna help give you a lot of practice and it's gonna put you light years ahead of other people who are practicing during live market conditions because you can't speed up live market conditions, but you can speed up the past when it comes to the simulation. Let's say you decide that this is actually taking too long. This is taking way too long and you don't have a lot of time and you wanna make this go faster. So you can stop the simulation. And if you hold down the control key, you hold down the control key and then you move the wheel. Look at what happens. It just automatically moves each bar. So if you move the, the mouse wheel up while holding the control key, it fast forwards time. And if you move the mouse wheel back, it rewinds time. So here we go. So let's go ahead and fast forward and see what happens. So your USD making its way up, went down, went down even lower. And looks like we're gonna hit stop loss. There we go. So this trade hit stop loss. And in this case, that was a 275 pip loss, right? So that's one losing trade. Let's do another trade. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and change. Let's put Euro AUD. Here we are with Euro AUD, four hour time frame. Let's zoom out a bit. And this time I want to add a custom indicator. I want to add the OBV. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on new indicator and we're going to click on OBV. There we go. Uh, by the way, OBV is the indicator I use to trade divergence, right? So let's see if I can spot any type of divergence and I automatically spot one right here. We have a lower high on price action and a higher high on the OBV. That right there is a bearish hidden divergence, okay? So we spot a bearish hidden divergence, meaning a trend continuation to the downside. So let me go ahead and draw this trend line right here. And I do believe that your USD may come up here and then we could see it continuing to fall down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a buy and I'm going to set my take profit up here and my stop loss down here. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and hold down control and let's move the mouse wheel. And almost there, almost there. There we go, we just hit it. So if you rewind time, it undoes, 
hitting the take profit. So it'll automatically make it so as if hitting the take profit never happened. You fast forward, boom, we, we touched the take profit perfectly, okay? So that was two trades. We had one losing and one winning. We brought ourselves back to over $10,000. So you look here at the history tab, you have one loss and one win, basically back to brown, uh, back to around break even. So because we spotted bearish hidden divergence, guess what? I think there's gonna be a trend continuation to the downside. So I'm going to place a sell position right here and I'm gonna place my take profit down here. So that's about 500 pips. And let me place my stop loss, uh, I'd say right here. And let's go ahead and speed it up. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to move the mouse. So far, so good. Oh, look at that. Boom. Okay, second trade hit take profit. So in this case, we had two trades hit take profit. One of them was a 337 pip take profit. The other one was 509 pips. So that right there is the basics of how to enter trades, how to speed up the simulation, how to fast forward and rewind the simulation. I showed you how to download the data sets and you know which one is activated because when you hover over it, because again, there's a blue square highlighted above the folder. So here you have the tools, just like in MetaTrader, you can add, you know, thumbs up, you know, icons, uh, rectangles, a lot of the stuff you can do in MetaTrader, you can do here in Forex Simulator. And if you have any questions about it, if you wanna learn more about it, you can go to the website, forexsimulator.com, look at the homepage, it explains to you what things do. Go to the FAQ page, go to the help page of our website, and there will be like little miniature tutorials on how to use the platform. Now, let's assume you did 100 trades, you did, you did 1,000 trades, and you wanna see your report in the form of a spreadsheet. Here's what you do, you go to view, and then my progress. Uh, I was recording a bunch of other tutorial videos and I forgot to reset the stats in the other tutorial videos. I was just placing a bunch of random trades. So you can ignore these numbers right here, but it's going to show you your performance for the simulation you have done. So as long as you started your simulation from scratch and let's say you have 100 trades, it's gonna show you your results of the 100 trades, the winning trades, the losing trades, the total time you spent on your screen. Uh, based on the simulation, not literally you sitting in front of the screen. So yeah, it shows you all of your stats here and you can scroll down and look at it as well. Now, if you want an even more detailed report of your stats, you're gonna click on show me a detailed report. Just save it to your desktop. Uh, you can name this whatever you want. So divergence, okay? So we're gonna save it as divergence and it's automatically going to open up on a page on your default browser that you have on your computer. And so look at this right here, right? 25 trades, win rate 60%, total loss uh, slash profit. Again, I forgot to clear the other one from doing random trades for tutorial videos so you can ignore this. And here it is, right? So it gives you the detailed stats of everything you have done with your trading, everything you need to know. And of course, if you wanna share this, you wanna you know, show off to your friends, like, hey, check this out. Maybe you're making a YouTube video showing people your trading strategy. Uh, you can do all of that right here and is there for you. And of course you can save this if you really wanna keep track, maybe you learn different strategies and you wanna back test different strategies, you just save the report on your computer and you can save the reports in different folders and it's a great way for you to stay organized with your trading. So that was a quick tutorial, by no means was it a very in detailed one, but it was just a simple how to get up and running with the platform so you can see how well uh, this plays out. Again, I just chose random date and times. None of this was planned. Let's go to simulation, random date. We're on Euro AUD. Now it's 2018. Okay, 2018. So let's go ahead and uh, let's reset the simulation. So we're gonna go to we're gonna go to view my progress. Then we're gonna click on this red X. Do you want to delete your trading stats? Yes. Now it officially reset everything back to zero. So here we are, I just left another random date and time. It's currently July 12th of 2018. And let's just, for the fun of it, let's do another one. Simulation, random date and time. Here we go. January 30th, 2008 for Euro AUD. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Do we think it's gonna make another retest? So from wick to wick, we broke through it. You know what, I really do feel that we're just gonna drop straight down. So let's go ahead and short Euro AUD and let's place a take profit of, 
right here, this is at the next demand zone right here. So that's demand. And for the stop loss, we could put it up there. So take profit that, so it's almost like a one-to-one -one risk. So we're gonna hold down control and we're going to move the mouse. And there we go. See, look at that stop hunt right there. It was going after us and it just dropped, boom, right there. So we hit another take profit. So we just made $300 on the, on one mini lot. So that means, uh, how much is that right there? That was about 333 pips. So this is what I'm saying. If you really, if you really, really, really want to maximize the potential of this software, every time you get into a trade, when you're done with that trade, go to simulation and choose another random date and time. This is going to help you when it comes to really practicing because the market's always going to throw random setups at you. It's always going to throw things at you and you really need to get the hang of it. So whenever you guys see me on YouTube or in my Telegram channel say, hey, I just spotted a head and shoulders pattern. I just spotted a W or an M formation. It's because I've spent not only years of my own time in the markets and trading, I have also spent simulated hundreds of years trading with the simulator. So I've been able to learn different methods and I've, been, and I've been able to see common patterns and become an expert at recognizing patterns because of the simulator itself. And don't worry, there will be more detailed tutorials coming out soon, but so far that right there is the basics of it. And just the basics alone will help you become a professional at using the software. So with that being said, that's it for this video. I really do hope you take full advantage of this software and really buckle down on learning Forex in my opinion, this is the best way to start learning how to trade without actually putting your own money in the market. And uh, yeah, it's definitely the best way to get a better understanding of what's going on, uh, especially in the past. So that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.